so good evening uh, everybody in this lecture we continue the previous lecture so in the previous lecture of the non uniform flow first we define what is gradually varied flow under what circumstances the gradually varied flow occurs then we have gone to derivate the derivation of gradually varied flow equation before that what are the assumptions of gradually varied flow equation then the general equation for water surface slope with respect to channel bottom which is called as dy by dx is equal to s not minus sf divided by 1 minus q square t by g a cube which is also equal to s not minus sf divided by 1 minus f r square so that we have derived that is the general equation now let us discuss how to extend that equation for a white rectangular channel that is one of the important things so this is also again a derivation of gradually varied flow equation but taking the previous equation dy by dx is equal to s not minus sf by 1 minus q square t by g a q and then extend it to apply for a wide rectangular channel that's what we will do once i complete that then i will talk about how channel bed slopes are classified that is the next topic so these two i will take in this lecture let us take one by one first but i forgot to tell you again in the previous lecture last at the end i told you what is the relation between sw and dy by dx what is sw it is the water surface slope with respect to horizontal what is dy by dx it is the water surface slope with respect to channel bottom and how to relate the water surface slope one is with respect to horizontal one is with respect to channel bottom how to relate these two for relating these two we mentioned depending on dy by dx is positive right that is a rising curve dy by dx is negative that is a falling curve basically for water surface then if dy by dx is positive if it is a rising curve sw is equal to s not minus dy by dx if it is a falling curve that is dy by dx is negative then sw is equal to s not plus dy by dx this also very important for problems so there i stopped actually now let me take into the gradually varied flow equation for a wide rectangular channel let me share the whiteboard with you so this lecture mainly focuses on the gradually varied flow equation for a wide rectangular channel first thing let me clear what do you mean by what do you mean by wide rectangular channel wide rectangular channel means for example a river like if this is how the channel is the width is so large compared to the depth width is so large compared to the depth then this is called as wide rectangular channel then what is the what is that 
suppose in such a case actually the perimeter which is equal to b plus 2y is approximately equal to b this is the condition which we use wide rectangular channel means this the perimeter can be taken as the width of the channel itself so because that y is so neglected for example you take the channel width is 1 kilometer whereas depth of flow is 0.5 meters so 1000 meters plus 0.5 plus 0.5 so it is 1001 so 1001 is approximately equal to 1000 that is what wide rectangular channel means actually so now if i take it now for a wide rectangular channel for a wide rectangular channel, what can we write? If I write R is equal to hydraulic radius is equal to, you know, A by P. That is BY divided by B plus 2Y. This what I told to write it as BY by B. So that means it is equal to Y. So R is equal to Y is the condition for wide rectangular channel. This is what you should remember. Then now I have taken, for example, according to Manning's equation, according to Manning's equation, applicable to, applicable to gradually varied flow is Q is equal to A into 1 by N R to the power of 2 by 3. Instead of S naught, what we should write for gradually varied flow, energy line slope, we have to write it. So it is A is equal to BY into 1 by N R we can replace it by Y because of this into SF to the power of half. So it is B into 1 by N, Y to the power of basically Y into Y. It is how much actually it is coming? Y to the power of 2 by 3 here into Y. So what will be 3 plus uh, basically if I take it 3 plus 2, 5, 5 by 3 into SF to the power of half. You call this as 1 according to. Manning's equation applicable to uniform flow. In the, what is the difference in the uniform flow? S naught is equal to SW is equal to SF. So therefore, Q is equal to A into 1 by N r to the power of 2 by 3 s naught to the power of half because in uniform flow s naught is equal to sw is equal to sf so it is by into 1 by n y to the power of 2 by 3 because r is equal to y s naught to the power of and one more thing also in uniform flow what we call it as y, the depth of flow y is called as depth of flow y is called what depth already I mentioned is called normal depth, which is called as y n. So replace this y by y n. So therefore q is equal to b into y n into 1 by n y n to the power of 2 by 3 into s naught to the power of half it is equal to b into 1 by n y n to the power of 5 by 3 into s naught to the power of half this is second equation whether it is gradually varied flow or uniform flow as the discharge is constant as the discharge is constant equate 1 and 2 Equate 1 and 2. So therefore, 
P into 1 by N into Y to the power of 5 by 3 into basically SF to the power of half is equal to B into 1 by N into YN to the power of 5 by 3 into S naught to the power of half. Therefore, SF by S naught to the power of half is equal to what will happen actually it is uh, now this it has come then you know, it is yn by y whole to the power of 5 by 3 or sf by s naught is equal to squaring both sides it is yn by y whole to the power of 10 by 3 this is the thing so kindly remember this next uh, suppose if you use if you use Chiji's equation instead of Manning's equation, what you will get if you do it, then SF by S naught is you can try is equal to y n by y whole cube you will get right because it is half only so naturally we get uh, basically here it is only uh, to the power of half we get cube right this is over so now i will go back actually what is for rectangular section for rectangular section Now I will take uh, what is this uh, uh, basically Q square T by because I am trying to evaluate each term of that equation. It is equal to Q square rectangular channel section. So it is B top width is equal to B into G into A cube. So it is Q square by A square. A square into B divided by g into a wait and let me one second verify verify one second i will change this i will i will go like this q square into b divided by g okay uh, now what i will write q square into b divided by g into b cube into basically what can I do? G into y cube into it is g cube into y cube, right? So what can I do? Small q is equal to discharge per unit width is q by b. If I substitute here, it is equal to q square by b square and a small q square divided by g, right? The other b will cancel with this into y cube, right? what the next we have already we have already found what is q square by g q square by g is equal to yc cube you just recollect specific energy lecture Please see that so q square by g is equal to y cube y c cube therefore what can i write it is equal to q square by g y cube here i can write it is y c cube by y cube that is nothing but y c by y whole cube so what is now the substitution i will start what is dy by dx is equal to s naught minus sf divided by 1 minus q square t by g cube right now this what i can write basically if i see it it is s naught into 1 minus sf by s naught this i can write like this divided by 1 minus q square t by g a cube so now what I can write S naught into 1 minus what I S of by S of Y N by Y whole to the power of 10 by 3 divided by 1 minus Q 
then dy by dx is equal to s naught into 1 minus yn by y whole cube divided by 1 minus yc by y whole cube. So here there are three terms. yn is what? yn is what? Normal depth. What do you mean by normal depth? Depth of flow in the uniform flow. What is yc? YC is called as critical depth. Critical depth means what? When the flow is critical flow. Y is depth of flow. So these are the three things. So this is depth of flow in GVF. Right? This is the thing. So this is the completed. So now this next thing is I mentioned last topic is classification of very simple classification of channel bed slopes. This is a small note actually. Channel bed slopes can be classified as channel bed slope can be classified as number one mild slope channel second steep slope channel Critical slope channel. Fourth one, horizontal channel. Horizontal slope channel. Adverse slope channel. Wild slope channel, steep slope channel. You can remember it is M. This is steep slope channel, critical slope channel, horizontal channel, adverse channel. So kindly remember these are the channel slope. Then what are the conditions? What are the conditions? For each so now here number one mild slope channel when a channel can be called as mild slope channel if channel bed slope is less than critical slope of the channel if channel bed slope is less than critical slope of the channel, then the channel is called, then channel is called mild slope channel. And if S naught is less than SC, then yn is greater than yc kindly note this so s not less than sc and yn greater than yc normal depth greater than critical depth then we call it as mild slope channel then steep slope channel
if s not is greater than s t s not is then the channel is called steep slope channel if s not is greater than sc then yn will be less than yc therefore what are the conditions s0 greater than sc and basically and yn less than yc right these two conditions are for steep slope channel two conditions completed then three what i mentioned critical slope channel if the channel bed slope if the channel bed slope s not is equal to critical slope of the channel then we call it as critical slope channel if s not is equal to sc then yn is equal to yc right so what are the conditions s0 is equal to sc and yn is equal to yc then we call it as critical slope channel the thing completed then let us go fourth what is horizontal channel horizontal channel means if s0 is equal to 0 then we call it as horizontal channel then if s0 is equal to 0 then yn will be equal to infinity so these are the conditions then last what is adverse channel adverse channel means if s not is less than zero s not is less than zero that is s not is negative If S naught is less than zero, then Yn is doesn't exist actually. It is imaginary. So now again, you tell me one after the other. Very easy actually. First one, what I mentioned, mild slope channel. Mild slope channel. What we call it as M. What are the conditions actually? S not basically the first one less than SC. If these are like this, then S not is what channel bed slope because all are related to channel bed slope because this mild slope, steep slope are all only channel beds only. The channel bed slope only comparison. If S not is less than critical slope, we call it as mild. In such a case, YN will be greater than YC. Then second steep slope channel s not is greater than sc then that means bed slope is greater than critical slope bed slope is less than critical slope then this yn will be less than yc then critical slope channel This is C. S not is equal to SC. Simple. Therefore, YN is equal to YC. Fourth one, horizontal channel. S not is equal to zero. Therefore, YN is equal to infinity. Last one, adverse channel.
S not is negative. Why n is doesn't exist, it is only mass. So this is uh, what we call it as how to classify the channel, basically the bed slopes. So here I stop it. And next lecture, I will take another lecture actually. Slowly, one after the other, we will take it. Let us not rush actually immediately one after the other. So slowly, you I'm uh, just each lecture slowly 15 20 minutes you can coolly go through it and it is very easy also for you to take it up so in this lecture i have derived the equation for uh, for gradually varied flow equation in the case of a wide rectangular channel first it is nothing but dy by dx is equal to s naught into basically 1 minus yn by y whole to the power of 10 by 3 or cube depending on whether it is Manning's or Chedges equation divided by 1 minus yc by y whole cube. This is the equation. Then we have tried the another question, how to classify the channel bottom slopes. Channel bottom slope, how we designate? Yes, not. How to classify different channel slopes? First one is mild slope channel, M, capital M. Mild slope channel means if the channel bed slope is less than critical slope, that is the first thing. Then what is steep slope? Channel bed slope is greater than critical slope of the channel. Then next, what is the critical slope channel? Channel bed slope is equal to critical slope of the channel. Then what is fourth one? Horizontal channel means yes, not bed slope is equal to zero. Then last one is what? If bed slope is negative, we call it as adverse channel. Then you can ask yes, not is equal to generally will be given. Now they will ask us a particular channel is a mild slope channel, a steep slope channel or an adverse channel or basically that they will ask. Then what we need to find out, what is the bed slope we should find out, yes not, yes not how to calculate assuming that the depth of flow is uniform, right? The for uniform flow and then based on that if we calculate uh, the slope of the channel bed that is s naught then how you get sc then the critical slope means what if the depth of flow is critical depth then whatever slope that you can obtain is the critical slope so calculate s naught calculate sc compare these two and if s naught is less than sc then we call it as mild slope channel or otherwise there is another method so assuming that it is uniform flow then calculate what is the normal depth assuming that it is critical depth flow find out what is yc right why how to find out yc q square by g whole to the power of 1 by 3 if you put yc you will get so find out yn find out yc if yn is greater than yc then it is a mild slope channel if yn is less than yc it is a steep slope channel if yn is equal to zero for example yn is yn is equal to critical depth then it is what we call it as critical slope channel if yn is infinity then you get it actually as a the horizontal channel. Then if suppose yn is in a, what you call it as imaginary, then we call it like this. So it is bed slope on one side and this is the other the normal depth, critical depth. So the problems you will get, they ask you to classify whether a channel bed slope is a mild slope channel or steep slope channel. These are the two questions generally. So mild slope channel condition means S naught should be less than SC or yn should be greater than yc for steep slope yes not should be greater than sc or yn should be less than yc so if this is the way you should remember this and i stop here this lecture and let us take uh, the next one which is a very very important now two more lectures uh, i will take it up in this uh, and stop this actually like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates